With health care at the forefront of today's political and social climate, access to quick, reliable, and inexpensive care is more important than ever. For over 100 years, one profession has been a modest yet crucial participant as one of the industry's most accessible health care providers. A lot of pharmacists are moving from a different role. The dispensing role is going to become obsolete in the future, so pharmacy is transitioning more into a more of a clinical role. The role of the pharmacists is largely misunderstood. Their main responsibilities are actually in the search for and development of new medicines and assisting in medication management. They need to learn to compound because it's a skill that pharmacists have where they um, it actually express the art and science of pharmacy together where they can make dosage forms for patients. The pharmacist is the one who looks at is the dose appropriate? Is it interacting with other medications the patient might be taking both prescription and over the counter? So the pharmacist is kind of the last line of defense of catching any potential problems with the patient's drug therapy. Regarded as the cornerstone of the drug discovery process, the modern pharmacy started back in 1847, forward a mere 37 years later to 1884, and a little village in Ohio now named Ada, chosen for its easy access from all directions within the region, Ohio Northern University and the Raby College of Pharmacy embarks on its 125-year-long tradition. Henry Solomon Lur, um, in 1884, uh, he was really targeting professional programs and what makes Ohio Northern as a university unique is that we have professional programs in engineering, in pharmacy, in law, but we have a strong core background in arts and sciences. Established in 1884, the Raby College of Pharmacy was originally offered as a 30-week program to help students prepare for a state examination. This state certification was the result of a newly required law for anyone wishing to work as a druggist. Henry Solomon Lur, his vision uh, for professional programs, uh, his recognition that druggists would have to pass a board exam, that his vision was we need to help people prepare to be a druggist. Despite continued growth and success over the years, the Raby College of Pharmacy remains true to its humble beginnings. Continuing its history of close ties with the community and personal attention given to the student body by a faculty that remains committed, engaged, and most importantly, accessible. We, as part of our mission, and our goal here in the College of Pharmacy is to get our students out there doing these types of community involvement services which helps build their skills plus also gives back to the community. It is easy to see one of the reasons behind the continued success, their integrated teaching model. It is uniquely the only one of its kind in the country that offers students six years of exposure to the pharmacy profession with a curriculum that is integrated on an organ system model. The integrated curriculum means that we take the basic sciences Pharmacology, the drug action, pharmacokinetics, what does the body do to the drug, pharmacodynamics, what does the drug do to the body, the medicinal chemistry, the chemical structure, how is it that we can uh, design a chemical structure to act in a certain way. That basic science underpinning is integrated with the clinical sciences. How do you apply that to patient care? As part of the Raby College of Pharmacy's 50,000 square foot learning facility is its new state-of-the-art pharmacy skills center and drug info center, giving students the ability to practice and apply relevant coursework. We can broadcast video to the students on different techniques. We can tape record their, their sample interactions with patients and then play them back with the students and critique them to help build those counseling skills, education skills and communication skills that they're going to need when they go out and take care of patients when they graduate. Matil Center has new labs, new classrooms, state-of-the-art equipment that facilitates really the best learning experience our students could receive anywhere. The future of pharmacists will have many factors that will weigh heavily on them. Pharmacogenetics, for example, the study of how genes influence an individual's response to drugs, or geriatrics, the health care of the elderly, and how they as patients with dietary restrictions are medically vulnerable. And what of health care reform? I think pharmacy is well poised to become a team player in the whole health care arena as we move forward with health care reform and I actually see the role of the pharmacist expanding in healthcare reform and these types of things that we've been training our students to do for the last 10 years with patient screenings, helping physicians monitor drug therapy will actually become more of a prominent role in the overall health care of the patient in the future. Today's modern pharmaceutical process includes numerous ingredients used in the manufacture of medicines. The effects of these ingredients, many of which may not be fully understood by the consumer, will surely increase the role of the pharmacists when managing the needs of special patients. When a pharmacist interviews, per se, a patient for the first time, when they come up with that prescription in the community setting, the question is, do you have any allergies? So it's incumbent upon the patient 
to understand what their sensitivities are, sensitivities are, what their allergies are, so the pharmacist can make a choice sometimes between products. Those segments of the population which are most vulnerable to the risks of these ingredients include patients with food allergies, pregnant women, children, or those with medical dietary restrictions. Even religious sensitivities may need to be addressed, as some common ingredients may be animal derived. Even though an ingredient is not listed, the consumer may not see it, but believe me, the FDA has seen it. Career options in pharmacy are not limited to the traditional role of the community pharmacists. Offerings are extremely diverse and range from research, drug testing, quality assurance, manufacture, and marketing. I tell my students, one of the nice things about pharmacy, there are so many opportunities out there. If you're doing something that doesn't fit your personality or fit clinically what you want to do, there's always a dozen other opportunities out there. One of the reasons I came here is because there's no teaching assistants really. It's all professors and all of them have their doctorates and most of them are licensed pharmacists and I enjoy working with them and I feel like I can ask them anything, they're always helpful, their office doors are always open. The Raby College of Pharmacy offers an intensive six-year academic program curriculum intended to prepare graduates to assume the vital role of pharmacist consultant, drug selection, and monitoring. The program is designed to focus and develop students' therapeutic skills. Students enter into our program after they graduate high school and they start taking pharmacy courses day one. And so for six years they are exposed to the profession of pharmacy. Graduating students also receive career development and placements support from the College of Pharmacy, which has an excellent program and record of assisting and placing students. Ohio Northern has been uh, having 100% placement for the last number of years. I think Ohio Northern is here because we have a long tradition of producing good pharmacists. The expanding role of pharmacists as health care providers will require skilled and detailed professionals, especially suited to fulfill increasing expectations. Familiarization with drug formulation, forms of dosage, and sources of ingredients make pharmacists uniquely qualified to understand patient needs and evaluate drug selection. I think in the future what you're going to see is a more team approach to healthcare. You're already seeing it embraced in the teaching hospitals with the younger physicians coming out of medical schools and coming out of residency programs where they involve the pharmacists going on rounds with them in the hospitals and making recommendations on drug therapy to try to optimize patient outcomes. The passing of 125 years has solidified the Raby College of Pharmacy at Ohio Northern University as a distinguished institution steeped in tradition and excellence poised to continue producing pharmacy professionals, ready to assume new and expanding roles in the healthcare system for the 21st century. We count on our pharmacy students to be the ones that are assisting our faculty in developing new treatment methods, new treatment modalities, and it's our students then that go out and take that information and help move the profession of pharmacy forward. For more information on the Raby College of Pharmacy at The Ohio Northern University, visit their website at www.onupharmacy.com or call 419-772-2260.